this is a uh, Dynaclo Deluxe um, torpedo heater, and, and here's the model number, BLKFA75DG-GDW. What was happening was, and listen, I'm a novice. I have no idea what the heck I'm doing. So um, I, I've had this thing for about two years. It's probably got 10 total hours of running time on it. I use K1 kerosene in it, um, and uh, this year I went to fire it up, and it started spitting fuel out the front, and you might be able to see some of the some of the spills there. But um, the motor would run, and the fan would spin. And it would just spit fuel and then it would shut off after about 15 seconds the lamp here there's a little lamp right here it would flash uh when the motor shut down and uh i would hit the switch turn it on or I'd turn it off and then turn it back on it would do the same thing so figured let me go inside this thing so there are eight screws screws that on this cover there's four on this side and four on that side and then uh this back uh the top just rests on this this back piece of plastic that gives you access to something uh, like an airflow uh regulator in there but anyway after you take those eight screws off this comes off and then this will come off. And then this panel here, there are four screws and I decided to take that off too because I had no idea what I was gonna look at what was in here. So took it all off. Now, the very first thing that I noticed were these two um, hoses. One's for fuel, one's for air. Um, they were cracked. This one has a little crack in it, but it was cracked all the way down to about here. And this one was cracked partially here. So what I did was took these hoses off. There's nipples under here. They just, you just manipulate them and they'll come off. And I took a uh, utility knife and I cut uh, down to the bottom of the split in, in the hose. So then I had a new piece of hose uh, not a new piece of hose what was left of the hose was good and then i pushed it back up onto the nipple did the same thing with this one turned it on figured up oh, that's got to be the problem turned it on did the same thing um it was spitting fuel and it did the exact same thing so i bought a photo cell and that's this thing right here. It's like an eye that uh, will read, I guess, spark. I'm not sure exactly what the heck it does. But it will see something in there and tell it to ignite the heater. Um, this is the spark plug. Um, spark plug wires. This is the, the nozzle. So what I did, because that didn't fix it, I said, well... I'm going to take the the, no, uh, the nozzle out and I'm going to clean that. But I knew I was getting flow through it, but maybe one, maybe the airflow was blocked. But I knew I was getting fuel. So I took this out. And once you take these hoses off, um, first thing you have to do is unscrew this screw that holds the spark plug to uh, the nozzle. So you take that screw out, this comes out. The nozzle here, you give it like a quarter turn uh, counterclockwise and it pops out. So I had it all apart. I looked at the spark plug wires, they looked fine. This thing's like, what did I say, a two years old maybe, I don't know. Um, I bought it new and then uh, I looked at the nozzle. It looked clean, but I blew it out with some compressed air. Once you take this out, you have to unscrew the the the, the uh, brass nozzle is 
is screwed into this housing. So you have your two lines that come in, air and fuel, and it shoots out the nozzle there. And the spark is up here and they miraculously make fire um, somehow uh, with the correct mixture of air and fuel. So anyway, uh, once I had everything out, I had a new photo cell um, that I had purchased. It's like 10 bucks um, online. And then uh, I put the new photo cell in, got the same exact, I put everything back together, got the same thing, fired it up and fuel spitting out the front. Mike, are you kidding me? So, um, gave it a once over. I'm like, what the heck's going on? So I tried to adjust the, the air flow here. Still didn't make a difference. And while I was looking at it, I happened to look over top here and you could see there's um, a hose here. This is air. Um, and sends the right amount of air through there and everything hooks up and they get married somewhere in there and it blows out fire. Just like caveman days. But um, this hose, this hose was also cracked. It wasn't even on the nipple here. I was like, ah, that has to be it. So I um, took my utility knife. I cut the bad part of the hose off and plugged it back up onto the nipple. And it worked. I now have um, flame and, and everything. And it's working like it was brand new. I'm not sure exactly how to... Uh, keep these things from cracking in the future but I guess that's um, for another day but anyway the thing is working fine now like I said just like it was brand new so I'm gonna put this bastard back together and I hope this video helps somebody um, I looked online on YouTube videos and and my problem wasn't there so I happened to stumble upon it and I got lucky so hopefully um, it had, I changed everything. Well, I changed the photo sensor, but like I said, hopefully this helps you out. Thanks, guys.